Let's see. Okay. Come in. Are we on? Power's on? You're good. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Burns. I'm the San Diego representative of O'Neill down here in the sunny San Diego zone. Um, we're going to go through O'Neill Fall 20. Um, kind of start to finish. We'll go through the line as quickly as we can because we have a short period. Um, we also have some amazing footage that is produced from O'Neill that's going to go along with this video. And that being said, I would say cue up the history about Jack O'Neill right now. It's a beautiful movie. It shows you kind of the history of Jack O'Neill and where he's been since 1952. Okay? So starting out, we're going to go through a complete clinic. And the first thing we're going to talk about is seams, a necessary part of a wetsuit. A wetsuit only functions if it fits you correctly, uh, fits you properly. Um, and then it'll serve you very well to keep you warm and make you happy in the water every day. So seams are kind of a necessary evil in wetsuits. We're actually down to basically about two and a half seams in the marketplace right now. It used to be we had what they called an overlock stitch. And it kind of looked just like this cuff right here. They took two seams, put them together, and they went around in a circle. That's why they called it an overlock. The problem with that stitch is it did just that. It left a big ridge and they'd fold it so the inside of that ridge was in against your body. This little seam right here is largely responsible for rash guards because in the old days, and most of you are way too young to remember, we used to have big craters on our arms from the seams in the wetsuits. Okay, we did away with that and we, Jack O'Neill came up with what's called a flat stitch suit. And what they did with this guy, and it's used largely in all your warm water summer uh, suit applications, um, they took two pieces of neoprene, put it through a machine at seven needle holes, and it's a nice flat stitch. So you don't get that high ridge in your wetsuit that's going to rash you. It's got a lot of flexibility, so you can get a big guy or a little guy in the suit pretty easily. But it is seven needle holes. So as I blow this seam up, you can see that the air goes right through those little needle holes. Okay? So it's ideally used for warm water jackets. Um, this is our entry level full suit so somebody's not going to be in the water for a really long time or not going to be in extremely cold water. So that's our flat stitch. The other seam that is mostly used in Southern California in the winter time is what we call our glued and blind stitch. Okay, the way this seam is done, and it's a lot more labor intensive, is we take two pieces of neoprene, we get everything in position, we lay the glue up on one side and let it dry. We lay it up again a second time, let it dry. We lay it up a third time and let it dry. Then we use what's called an activator. We put it on the seams, kind of causes everything to bubble up, and then they put the suit together and pinch it all the way together with some high compression pinchers. And then what they actually do is sew through the material halfway on one side. That's why it's called the glued and blind stitch. So it's stitching on one side, and there's no stitching on the other side. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's just a glued and blind seam, okay? The advantage to that is that I can blow that suit up and you can see that I can bounce it around so no water is running into the wetsuit. So your body doesn't have to work really hard to warm up the little bit of water that gets into the wetsuit. Okay, that's a glued and blind seam. O'Neill's perfected the glued and blind seam. All our seams are curved, so the seams don't hit a point where they would stop and tear or pop. So they're all naturally curved, and, and we use minimal seams, as, minimal, as many minimal seams as possible so that you get large stretch zones throughout the whole wetsuit. It's a little bit more expensive to build the wetsuit that way, but that's what you're getting, the bonus. No seams under the underarm, a lot of stretch throughout the whole suit, okay? So two and a half seams. The third application, which O'Neill kind of developed, is our fluid seam weld. So this is a, a combination of urethane and silicone. And what we've done here is we've triple glued it. We've sewn the inside in some cases. And then we've laid a urethane and uh, silicone application to the outside of the seam. It's very labor intensive. It's very expensive to do. Uh, but it makes a basically a waterproof seam on the outside of the wetsuit. It's very durable, very strong, uh, as long as you don't put it on your balcony and bake it for months at a time. Um, it's a really strong, uh, flexible seam. Takes quite a few hours to put this application on each wetsuit. So the prices on your fluid seam welds jump up to the close to $300 range. Okay, so that's our other application. And a lot of, in one of the suits, we actually take and put the fluid seam on one side, and we actually tape 
the inside as well. So that's our uh, top of the line suit, which we'll get to in a second. Okay, so that's all of our seams. We got um, a flat stitch seam. We have a glued and blind stitch seam. And we have um, our fluid seam well, okay? All right, we're gonna talk about materials really quickly. And then we're gonna go through the suits. So the materials we're gonna use today pretty much are down to two. It's what we call our ultra flex material which we use in kind of our entry level suits. It's actually called Ultraflex DX. It's a really stretchy four way stretch material. Um, the Dur DS stands for durable stretch, but what I like to call, call it is doesn't snag. So you take this Velcro here and you can put it right on the outside of the jersey and it doesn't hook it or snag it or pill it at all, which is really nice, okay? Um, the other material which we're gonna talk a whole lot about is our Techno Butter which is pretty much a revolutionary material. It won a uh, Stag Magazine Award, it won the Surf Industry Magazine Award, so um, we'll get into that a little bit more. So Techno Butter, what is it? It's a jersey material that we've taken actually a stitch off of so that it's a little bit lighter. You can see kind of there's a grid pattern on the material. It's 20% lighter than normal neoprene and it holds 30% less water than the normal neoprene because it's infused with a basically kind of like a DWR coating, okay? Um, so that's the Techno Butter 3. And then what we call uh, another application of this material is the TB3X. Okay, TB3X is this really fun jersey sweater looking material. We put that on the inside of the majority of these suits and then on the outside of a couple suits here. So you get this tremendous amount of flexibility throughout the whole wetsuit. We'll go into that as we get into the suits, but you can see it, this material just has a crazy amount of flexibility and stretch throughout. And that's our uh, Hyperfreak or TB3 uh, material. Okay, so that was kind of a quickie on materials. I'll kind of go through materials as we go through the suits. All right, so we're going to start out with the men's lineup. Again, we start out here in Southern California with a glued and blind suit. Um, it is our epic. Um, wetsuit, that's our entry level men's suit. Um, but at an entry level, we still put a lot of value in it. The Epic this year in a 3 2 is, um, is a buck. Sorry, just double check the price on that. Is a buck 79. So um, with that suit, you get again the ultra flex material all the way throughout the main body of the wetsuit. You have your smoothie material in the chest. The smoothie is what we call nylon one, meaning that there's nylon laminated to the inside of the, the wetsuit and smoothie on the outside. The smoothie material acts, acts as a wind block. So when you're sitting up on your surfboard and the wind hits you, it, it actually helps prevent a chill on your wetsuit, okay? Um, this suit, this year, the Epic, we kind of tuned it up. This is the Epic of last year. Actually, it's still in the line, um, but you can see the, the bigger logo on it. So this is our surf shop only Epic. It's, um, and it's designed just for surf shops. And then the other thing that's kind of nice is designed in our Shaco facility. So it's a really nice stretchy uh, material, has a really good hand and a, a much cleaner logo overall. So let's tear into the Epic. So this is our entry level suit. This customer wants something that's very easy to climb in and out of. So we give them a really easy three quarter zip, uh, entry level in the back of the suit. The other thing we do with this suit is we have what we call our blackout zipper. Um, zippers don't stretch and they actually have a tendency to leak, but with this blackout zipper, the teeth are offset. A normal zipper, you'd see all kinds of gapping in the, the teeth. This guy with the teeth offset, it's very hard to get any gapping there. And we can actually even hold it up to the light and you would see, would see very little light in through the zipper at all. So it really helped keep the water out, okay? as much so as some barriers in some suits. So anyways, we climb into the inside here, something really easy to get in and out of, our three-quarter zip. Again, this is an entry-level suit person, uh, surfer, or somebody that just wants something really easy to climb in and out of. Inside the wetsuit, we have the uh, firewall material. And what this does for uh, the person is actually thins the water layer out so your body can heat it very, fun very quickly and kind of works as a built-in heater inside the wetsuit, right in the chest area. So nice little built-in heater. As we dig into the suit, 
We have a big, uh, fully taped crotch. It's a big crotch. Nobody wants a cold crotch, so we tape that, reinforce it so there's no leaking. It gives you a lot of durability in that area. And then, again, one of the nicest features of this suit is we have a full surround glide skin neck, so there's no seams anywhere that rub around the neck. This can wrap around and fit a guy with a little pencil neck, or it can get, fit a big guy and give him a little bit more room in the neck. We make this an extra small all the way through up to um, triple X. So the Epic 3.2 comes in men's and women's and uh, kids as well. Um, let's see, what did I miss? Key features, the firewall material in the chest, entry level glued and blind. You're gonna blow up the seams, gonna keep you warm, way warmer than a flat stitch suit for pennies a day. Um, extremely comfortable. Um, have them compare it to any other entry level suit on the market from another brand. You'll find the Epic fits extremely comfortable. It's very warm and uh, works really well. Okay? So, we have it again. We have the older 4211, which is still a great suit. We have the new Surf Shop only with the new clean logo, a little bit nicer hand in the material. And then we actually added a chest zip version. Okay? So it's a little bit more, has pretty much all the same features. It's all glued and blind stitch, but this guy has a couple other really nice features. It has our patented um, chest zip entry. So um, the idea with a chest zip, if we take the zipper off the back, you get more flexibility through the whole back of the wetsuit, okay? And we take a step further, we take the seam out of the rear, we angle the, the back seam so that you get a lot of flexibility out of the back of the wetsuit, okay? But chest zips have a tendency to flush a little bit of water, so what we wanted to do is make it as dry as possible. And since we test our wetsuits up in Santa Cruz and San Francisco where the water's frigid, we feel any little drip of water. So we built kind of a suit within the suit and it kind of has an inside collar and then it has two sandwich areas so you can climb in and out of. But the advantage to that is if I took a hit of water through the side of the wetsuit, it's going to run across that panel. It's going to go right out through the little drainage hole right here on the side. It's not going to go in and touch your body. If you take an, another big hit through the top, again, it's going to hit this back panel and it's going to go right out through this drainage hole on the bottom. Okay? If you take a really big hit and it happens to get through these two panels, it's still going to run against this secondary panel and go right out through the drainage hole. So all this gives you one of the driest chest zip entries there. The other nice thing is we have a fixed zipper so you're not fighting to put a zipper on. You just pull this over your head and you're ready to go. Okay? So that's the chest zip version of the Epic. The other nice thing about the chest zip version is you have the firewall material in the chest and in the lower back of the suit. Okay? So a little bit more for the suit, but you're getting extra firewall, an extra layer over the top, and a much, uh, if you like the chest zip version, a drier chest zip version. Firewall front, firewall back, all glue and blind stitch, and you're at, uh, I mean, 189, not 10 not bucks more than your 3 2 Epic. Okay? You guys got that? So just a different entry. Some people really like the three quarter zip, easy in and out. Some people like the chest zip version. Again, the advantage is to take that zipper off the back, you get more flexibility through the suit. Okay. We did the Epic. From there, we're going to go up into our Hyper Freak series. And this, again, I mentioned earlier. Um, it's an award-winning suit. It was voted by Stab Magazine as the most flexible 4-3 wetsuit. Um, and it was also voted, voted by the surf industry manufacturer. Uh, it won awards for design in the Hyper Freak series. So in the Hyper Freak series, it features our Techno Butter material, which is the TB3 material. Again, 20% lighter than a normal neoprene. 30% less water absorption in the wetsuit, and then incre uh, incredibly flexible. So we do the TB3 through the main body of the suit, and then we, what we do is the TB3X on the shoulders and the lower back of our Hyper Freak Comp. The advantage to that, again, is this TB3X has a little bit looser jersey and it allows an incredible amount of flexibility. 
In the Techno Blooder suits, all of them, we have our NV foam, which is a very microscopic, uh, has very microscopic cells that allow a ton of insulation inside the neoprene. Keeps the cold on the outside and the warm on the inside. It doesn't allow it to go through. As if it was a solid piece of rubber, it would be hot on one side, hot on the other. So those little air bubbles give you the insulation. And it's amazing. The NV foam is a very, very light, warm, and flexible foam that goes in between the two jersey materials in the Hyperfreak series. So the Hyperfreak Comp is a zip-free suit. Um, it is crazy flexible. I think it's as close as you can get to naked in a wetsuit. Uh, allows you a ton of flexibility throughout the whole wetsuit. Very, very easy to get into. You just pull the neck aside. You have this giant opening you can crawl in and out of. And you can pull it straight up to your chest and climb right in. And it uh, gives you an incredible amount of flexibility. So that's the Hyper Free Comp. Comes in a 3-2 and a 4-3. Um, it's a game-changing wetsuit. If you do nothing else, come try one of these on just to feel the difference in the marketplace. So if you are a little nervous or can't get your head wrapped around a, a zipperless suit, we did produce it in a chest zip version. It comes in a 3-2, uh, a 4-3, and a 4-3 hooded, and a 5-4 suit in a chest zip version. Uh, two of those have attached hoods. So in the chest zip versions, we did something else that's a little trickier. We added a 0.5 to the neoprene to give you a little extra warmth in the arms and the whole body. So this is a 3.5, 4.5 in a 4.3 case, or it's a 3.5, 2.5 in a 3.2 case. This one, this one happens to be a 4.3. All the same basic features, except you do get a, a chest zip on the inside. And uh, still the inside neck, just like the Epic has, um, but does have the Techno Butter material all the way throughout. And a key feature in this is that it has the Techno Butter tape. We use the same material on the inside of the suit and the same tape so that everything blends the same. It's when you get two different materials going different directions that sometimes the tapes will fall apart in wetsuits. So it's really important that we've used the same tape in the comp and in the chest zip version. Okay? Hyperfreak comp, same. Oh, one other major difference between the two is that the comp suit has the TB3X in the whole lower back of the wetsuit, so it allows a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more lightness. Um, in the chest zip, we've run it in the upper shoulders and upper body, and we've run the regular Techno Butter. Very subtle difference between the two. Um, a little bit more durability maybe in the back here, but very little uh, flexibility-wise. Um, very, very close. Okay, so there's your Hyper Freak series. Again, game changing wetsuit. Uh, if you want to erase years off of your surfing experience, uh, I would definitely recommend trying these on. Great for early, I mean, great for a quick surf um, anywhere. Um, a 4 3 would get you through anything here in Southern California. Really warm, flexible suits. Again, there's a reason they won the awards they did. Um, our designers did just a fantastic job. From the Hyper Freak series, we actually move up into one of our um, famed wetsuits is the Heat. Let me find the old Heat here. Here it is. <laughs> okay, our Heat wetsuit. Here we introduce the fluid seam welding that we talked about earlier. So if you want a workhorse suit, if you're an O-Dark 100 surfer, like meaning you surf at Dawn Patrol, you want something that's very durable, uh, you don't necessarily want to climb in through a chest zip or zipperless type suit, you want something that's easy but has all the warmth and bells and whistles, um, the new heat uh, is a fantastic suit, especially for guys that just want something to climb in and out of easy. It has our three-quarter zipper, has the offset teeth, the blackout zipper. But new this last year to the heat, we took and lined the whole inside of the wetsuit with our new TB3 firewall. So you can see everywhere that's red is our firewall material. You guys know what the firewall does. It just thins out the water layer so your body can warm it up super fast, keeps you nice and warm. Still have the three-quarter zip have the TB3X in the arms to give you a little more flexibility. 
and then firewall material all the way throughout. And then once again, on the heat, you've got your fluid seam welding, the waterproof seam on the outside application of the wetsuit. And your heat, you're retailing in a 3.2, you're at uh, 3.30, 339.95. Again, all the bells and whistles of one of our higher end suits. You've got the smoothing material to block the wind. You have the fluid seam welding, uh, waterproof seams. You have the techno butter that's lighter and uh, sheds more water. You have our glide skin neck, so no seams around the neck. You've got a three quarter zipper, nice and easy to climb in and out of all the key features. We build this in 13 sizes. So we make it in a 4X, we make it in a double extra large short an extra large tall, um, what else, medium talls, all the sizes, so anybody that's big shouldered or has a little trouble getting into a wetsuit, we can find a size for you in the heat uh, wetsuit. Uh, really popular old guy suit. Actually all the, I've noticed a trend, the, a lot of the longboard guys here in San Diego, they like back zip suits, they just like to get something in and out of, they won't, don't want to be complicated, and if they do lose their longboard a long ways and they have to body surf in a long ways, this is a great suit. It doesn't let any water in through the neck or in through the chest of the suit. So um, I've noticed that a lot of guys are going to the heat for that reason. Okay, from the heat we go up to one of our major workhorse suits is our Psycho One. Okay, prior to the Hyper Freak, um, O'Neill really worked hard to come up with minimal seam suits. And the Psycho One is one of my favorite workhorses because it's very tough, it's very durable. Um, in and out, it's going to keep you warm and, and give you a nice, comfortable wetsuit uh, for pretty much any experience. Again, if you take out the smoothie material in the chest and do all nylon too, all that glue and stuff is eliminated. You get a tremendous amount of flex through the whole body of the wetsuit. And what that does is make you, again, feel nice and light and loose. Um, still has your fluid seam welding on the outside. The Psycho 1 originally because it has the fluid seam welding on one side the outside. Uh, minimal seams to give you more flexibility and our patented Zen zip. So this zipper is actually attached to the outside of the wetsuit. And what I mean by that, um, let me see if I can show you. Oh. And then one of these turned inside out. I feel like I'm, I'm going, uh, slowing down here. Let's get it going faster. <laughs> so our Cycle 1, I'm going to flip this one inside out and show you how this was designed. It's kind of mind-blowing because there's nowhere that water can really enter into the wetsuit except for the neck top. Zip this up really quick. So this is this suit turned inside out. So this is the back of the wetsuit. If you guys see any zippers or anywhere water can come in. The beauty about this is this is what you feel on your back. This is what stretches, this is what moves, this is what flex. You don't feel a zipper because guys say, oh, it's a back zip. I can feel the stiffness of the zipper. The zipper actually free floats on the outside of the wetsuit. It actually isn't attached. So it is attached to it's not attached to this back panel, it's attached to this back panel on the inside, okay? So it actually floats on the outside of the wetsuit. So if you have the suit on and you have it cinched up really nice, it's very, very hard for any water to get into the wetsuit. A lot of our pro riders and pro riders in serious surf like the Zen Zip application because they can cinch it up, they can cinch up the necks, and in heavy water, they're just not going to get an entry area like you can do and sometimes in a chest zip suit. It can kind of forge this way, even a hooded chest zip suit. So they like the Zen Zip because there's no place that water can really get into the wetsuit. If water got into the zipper, it's going to hit that barrier again, and it's going to go right out through that drainage hole through the back. So that's the Zen Zip feature in the Cycle 1 and in our Cycle Tech series suit. Cycle 1, again, minimal seams, techno butter, 100% through the body. You have your TB3X material on the inside. You've got your waterproof fluid seam welding on the outside. Uh, great workhorse suit, a little bit more durable than your Hyperfreak series. Um, a great, uh, 
great suit for pretty much all conditions you can throw at it, okay? Moving up from the, the Cycle 1 currently comes in a, a Zen Zip version and a Chest Zip version, okay? The Chest Zip version might go away as we move, as the Hyper Freak has been taking sales away from it in the Chest Zip version. So we may see um, just the Hyper Freak going forward. Okay, our next suit up the lineup is our Psychotech. Okay, so we've gone from our Hyper Freak, our high performance, super fast, light, comfortable suit. We went up to more of a workhorse in the Psycho One. We're going up to the Dawn Patroller, Cold Water Warrior in our Psychotech suit. Okay, Psychotech comes in a chest zip, comes in a Zen Zip version. I showed you the Zen Zip, same as the Cycle One. Oops, that's the heat. Same as the Cycle One has the barrier in the back or has the Zen Zip panel in the back. The Cycle Tech has, let me turn one inside out for you, it's already good. The Cycle Tech has the firewall material all the way throughout the main body of the wetsuit. Has our TB3X in the shoulders for flexibility has your fluid seam welding on the outside for waterproof seams and then one other feature in the chest area is our TB3 Air. Um, if you key up the link that is on this site it explains the TB3 Air and basically we've taken a sheet of neoprene poked holes in it and then we've laminated the, the neoprene smoothing on the outside and jersey on the inside so we've trapped air in the chest and in the lower back of the suit to give you a really nice built-in insulated heater on the front chest and the back. So this is our O-Dark 100 uh, guy that's surfing in some extreme conditions, maybe surfing early when the wind's cold, the, the uh, winds are offshore. Um, he wants the ultimate warmth. This comes in a 3243, comes in a hooded 5-4 as well. So that's the men's lineup in kind of a quick uh, run through. Um, again, we have links on the uh, Psychotech series, and we have links on the Hyper Freaks. Look on those, watch those again. There's some great surfing from Jordy and some of our other team riders, and that's the men's lineup. Let's pause for a second. Stop! <laughs> Want to pause? I'll get the women's up real quick. Yeah, We're going to take a quick out. little segue. How do we do? Uh, we yeah, we did an hour? No, that was only 27 minutes. Uh, is that okay. too but much for you girls? No, 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 no